Hello and welcome back to the second episode of our second series. As we move along and try out more games, we're always on the lookout for different ones to try and different exciting experiences. Not necessarily all first-person shooters or first-person puzzles in this case. If you have any suggestions or have any complaints or have any comments whatsoever, feel free to let us know and we will either take it into consideration or ignore it depending on who reads the message. But enough of those shenanigans, otherwise I will ramble on forever and we have a game that we could and should be playing. So without further ado, here is level five, which is one more than four, so yeah. Is Asher awake? Level five. The dangers are booming death, lasers, and getting crushed. Yeah, so fun fact, someone actually went through and discovered you can do literally every single one of these levels uh, just like by yourself. The only thing you really? need the other player to do is occasionally open doors. Yeah. I'm wow. not going to try it because I don't know the levels nearly well enough. Oops. I just destroyed it. Yeah, someone went through and just like no clip through those doors and did like everything. Like I don't even know how you would go through like this part. Somebody did apparently. It's on the YouTube. That's awesome. And ow, we can um, if uh, I don't like this. I'm trying to keep you a little bit balanced. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I will uh, post a link to that video. Since I accidentally heard about it today. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I'm just moving you up. You'll stay there, and then this will come down, and the thing will open, and you won't die. Ah. Yeah, I don't know how the person did that. The other question is, was I supposed to have started a thing all the way at the beginning? No. You should put one here. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Whoop. Put the wrong portal. Oh. <laughs> I almost walked into acid. How dare you try and kill me like that? I wanted all the points. <laughs> you are great at science. Sometimes testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. This next test is so outside the box, I can't, I mean, won't even tell you what you were looking for. You will know it when you find it. Alright, I don't remember this level at all. I don't think this Lots is really. Something's going on down here. Oh, hey, you put a portal down there. Learning how to use a CD player. That's good. Ah, these are switches. Ah. Yeah. Weird when like all the other stuff you're used to it being um all like high vis. Um, is that a laser disc? Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. Sorry, all the all the other stuff is high vis. What? Well, it's all like high vis testing stuff, and then you go into like these environments, which are back to like the low. Not low visibility, but you know they're they're cluttered and not so like clinical and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's the outside of the lab. Yeah, I think we're actually like, in the old lab. Congratulations, you managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you. 
then carefully reassemble you. Luckily, you don't feel pain. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I can see you corner. Ah, right away. that didn't help. <laughs> Hey, I just got the team building achievement. Nice. From here, you can select all previously completed courses. That was a very fast course, but then again, that was the very first course. Do the second well, one. Yeah. How do I do? How do we get there? Oh. I think portals. That's actually a fairly clever idea to like force people to use portals. Yes. I'm gonna start out at course one. Yep. That would be a good thing. On to phase two. I could do without all these animations, though. They were kind of fun like, when, like, I was first playing them. Uh, there's yeah. also some, like, background music that goes associated with them, but we that turned off. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, one of those things, like, it's a, it's a neat thing when you're starting out, and after a while you're just like, I don't want to play the portal levels. Yep. To build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. Put your portal down there. Whoop. Oh, I have to do it while you're jumping. No, no, okay. just do it now. Oh. Oh, wrong portal. Whee! There we go. All right, there's this tall thing up here. That uh, looks like a thing. And... I don't know if that's the right one. It looks might be. like A1. Whee! Alright, I hit a button. And that did something up there. I can't tell what it is. We need to get up here somehow? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, shit. Fucked it up. Alright, we're gonna switch roles. Go for it. Didn't quite get me there. It's a little higher, so it doesn't look like you can. It makes me wonder what could I do that would make it. Oh, -ho. here, this. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Come on back down. I uh, put one portal up here. Right, and then you can see it from there. Yep, and I can get you back up. No, no. Uh, you need to put the portal here. And then I need to place these two. I could do one here. I could do them both for me. Oh, cool. Strong independent android. You don't need no Gladys. Something like that. Hey, we got a ball. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. Well, maybe we'll get more appreciation next episode.